All right, bear with the fan noise for a second. So I decided to do this now until in the evening. I did. Ah. It's in the evening, and um, I decided to play around with it because it's really going to be used for emergencies. And I was thinking what I could use, like in my apartment, if I needed to run the humidifier or the fan, kind of the same. And um, lights or my plant lights, which is on right now to my left. Um, I'll show you. So there's three of them. They're 40 watts each. And they're stacked, so there's three of them. So I decided to do this, and why I was doing it, I said, you know what, I'll just make a video. So I'm going to show you three different things of what I got right here. And I'm going to show you how this works. So it's only been five minutes and it went down 5%. Or, well, it, yeah, I think it said 99, not 100. But um, so let's just go up 5%. And what it's showing is that's the output, the watts, right? So check this out. And then over here, the hours. So it says I can run what I'm running right now, which is three sets of lights. I'll show you again afterwards the whole rack system. And this. Uh, humidifier so I don't know how much the humidifier is but I can tell you how much they say it is watch I'm trying to get this to focus a little bit better here all right so about 50 watts it was and that was on low um, I never need that thing on anything but low and it keeps the room cool and it, it humidifies my room really nice um, so now what you're seeing is 114 watts. So what's 40 times 3? 40, 80, 120. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's saying 114. But it should be 120. Because they're 40 watts each. Now watch this. I'm sitting down so I'm only going to do one at a time. See how that switched? So the left number is how long they'll run for, two hours. The middle is 93% of the battery. And the other one is how many watts it's putting out. Now, like I said in the other video, you can um, charge this called pass-through charging. I could be, like, let's say I was outside, in, I don't know, in, on a sunny day or whatever. I could have this charging um, in the sun with the solar panels and be running these things if I wanted to I could plug it into the wall would that make no would make no sense anyway but you can do that um, if you were in the car and you wanted to charge this in the car and still and put your phones through it to charge or to use your phone through it or whatever like that you could do that too so now when I click this light back on you see the wattage went up and then the hour went down so I guess what that's saying is I can run these lights for uh, three 40 watt grow lights um, for my plants for an hour. Um, that doesn't seem too long. Now that's a 40 watt light. Let's see what it does with a different light um, in my house. But I want to show you something else too. So uh, let me pause this because I need two hands. Alright so I plug that back into the wall and that's what we're at now. Um, now what I got to do is... oh. Let's see. I need two hands again. All right. So this is plugged in but not on yet. That's this humidifier fan. Now let's see what happens. Okay, that's on low. 36 watts. Let's call it 40. Oh, and that dropped down to five hours. So I guess it takes a few seconds to read it and register it. Let's put it on middle. Uh, now it goes back up to only a little bit, but let's try it on high. Okay, the hour dropped to four. So let's call it 50 watts four hours to run this light, or not light, this um, humidifier fan. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what this little guy can do. And remember, I'll put this under the other videos, but um, I'll say it here too. 
So this is an EcoFlow River 2, 300 watt, 600 watt surge peak. And, um, you know, it's the mini. It's like the smallest one, I think. And, um, you know, it's got a lot of good capabilities uh, running the lights. Now, I thought I would run these lights longer than what they said, one in two hours. Um, so that's a little, and they're grow lights. They're 40 watt each. They're two foot long. Um, now what I'm going to do is, let me take this out and plug something else in. All right, so this is like a handheld massager thing. It's got all these different massage things on it. I used to be a massage therapist. Um, so let's see what happens. Trying to get that glare off. Okay, that's the um, top speed. Give it a couple seconds here. All right, see, it went to 20 hours to 10 hours. It says 20 watts. Now I'll click the heat on. That's a little better, maybe. Might take a minute before the heat to get warm. Now I was telling, I'll say in case you watch this, Mom. So I don't know what that machine is called. I think it's called a CPAP. Uh, I don't know what it stands for, but to breathe and all that kind of stuff, help you breathe or something. A lot of people were saying they buy these machines for that, and they can run them anywhere from like, depending on the machine and depending on the generator, from anywhere from, you know, 10, 12 hours to 48 hours. Um, it all depends on what the watt is. To say This is registering at 20 watts, even with the heat on, that this could run for nine hours. All right, so that's that. Now let me bring it on a regular light and see what it says. All right, so I don't know. I'll try to see what it is. This is an old light um, on my desk. It's like real dim, maybe somewhere between 5 and 10 watts, 15 watts. I don't know. Let's see what it says. It's so low that it doesn't register wattage. Get one of these watts. You can run it for 20, 24 hours. It's not that dull either. I mean, you could read with it on when it's dark and my glow lights aren't on. You could actually read with this on and stuff. So it's a decent light. So it does, Oh, wait, here it went down. No, you can run it for eight hours. There's no wattage. 91% battery, eight hours for that, for that light to be on. Um, like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to see if I can see it. Hold on. I can't see what wattage it is. It's one of those spiraling type lights, so it's not like a like a light bulb where you can see it on the top. But that's good to know, like that if you were in a power outage and you needed a light or you needed a fan or you needed um, one of them machines, that you can run. You know, you can run that, and you can get probably you know you're looking at um, eight hours for something like that. Um, so that's good to know. Uh, for emergencies and everything like that and um, so that was what the light the fan humidifier the other lights over there and um, this is saying nine hours now and I know those machines that people need to breathe with now I don't know I'm talking about one of those little machines not like some giant like contraption from the hospital so uh, this thing looks like it will do pretty well for a lot of different small uses now the good thing about it is you know, obviously, if it's winter time or and it's a blackout or something like that, um, you got you might not have solar panel uh, solar panel option with the sun to recharge it or to pass through charging while using it. But in three hours, if you want had to drive to the store or you just wanted to turn your car on um, for an hour to three hours, you can recharge it here, um, and that's a good thing because you know it wouldn't really waste that much gas one to three hours idling um, if you were in an emergency if this thing ran low and you had that air machine or you had lights or you were you know whatever in the summertime obviously if there was some summer disaster um, you have way more chance of the sun recharging it from the solar panels so you wouldn't have to worry about that there and you could also go outside if you needed to do stuff and um, I don't need to charge my cell phone right now because it's fully charged so I can't tell you like how long that would take or how much power it would take. But um, I don't think it would be a lot at all. And when I get a chance to do that, I will. And I'll put it underneath the um, description of the video of what that did, along with anything else that I've been running. 
But the good news is, is that small lights, fans, and stuff like that. Now, I would imagine that if you got a, let's see, so the the 40 watt lights, all 40 of them at 120 watts. Uh, excuse me, 40, yeah, 20, 120 watts. That was only going to run from one to two hours. It said, if I clicked it down to 40 watts, um, you know what? Let me let me do that and see what it says. All right. Let's see, there it goes. So it's saying 36 watts for the one light of my grow light. It's a two foot long grow light. And it's saying I can run that for four hours. And it's registering at 36, not 40 watts. So there you go. So now the reason I'm bringing this up is some people want to use electric blankets maybe um, during a powder out power outage or something. So they could be anywhere from 20 to 100 watts. So if you got one that was in that 20 to 50 watt range and it had a timer on it and you had a power outage or you were camping or whatever, this little machine here could run it. You know, it's right now the battery's at 90% and it's saying it could run it for four more hours at 40 watts. So you have the potential, let's just say, depending on what wattage the blanket is, at three to six hours, seven hours to run it. If you had a 15, 20 watt compared to like, this is running, let's say 40 watts, you might be able to get away. Uh, and again, it could click on, click off, click on, click off with um, a timer if you really need an electric blanket as well. So that's another cool thing about it. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right, so the only thing I'll tell you real quickly, and I have to read the book more, but it, it doesn't really say, it just says that if I hold that button there for the AC, sorry with the the focus. So you put that, you press that on, and then you can use these outlets. And then when you're done, you shut it off. And then I guess if you're going to use DC cigarette lighter or the one in the back to charge, you hit that and it turns it on. Now, um, what I was going to say is it says in the book if I hold that for a few seconds or something like that, it will change the frequency. So this says 60 hertz over here. I think it says 60 hertz without my glasses. Um, yeah, 60 hertz. So I'm not sure why or how or what you would want to do with that, but you could change the hertz on this as well. Um, maybe for some device that uses less or uses more, I don't know, but you could do that. Um, there's an application on your phone to run all that kind of stuff and to do other things, but I don't need that, so I'm not going to you know do anything with that. I don't need to do anything like that, um, but you can do that. And I think that's all I wanted to share. So I just wanted to show you that. And the important thing, obviously, would be charging your cell phone back up. Um, so once I do that, uh, maybe I'll let my cell phone run down now since this video is like 13 minutes. And um, I'll let it run down a little bit. And then I'll, I'll charge it and see what happens. I'll, I'll, what I'll try to do is charge it for a little bit and see how fast it goes. And then I'll also do a... Um, charge of this as it's charging the cell phone and see what what difference it makes because remember obviously in a power outage you couldn't plug it into the wall but if you had a car or solar you could do that um and i don't know what the difference is like for instance i had a power outage for like four days and i had to go out in my car to try to charge my phone man it was taking forever ever to charge my phone um so like in the wall here you know it goes quick real quick um, and it goes real slow in the car, probably because the car doesn't put out that many wattage or whatever. So I'm interested to see how fast this thing will charge my phone up um, compared to the car. But I'll do it both ways. I'll charge it and then I'll try to pass through charge while this is charging my cell phone. And uh, that will give you an idea too as well um, if you want to buy this thing. And then like obviously if it's charging from the sun, you know, that, that would make a difference too. All right, I think that's all I can do for now. I don't really have any other pieces of equipment to run. And really, honestly, here, I'm going to show you something. My neighbor had gotten these, and she gave me some, and then I bought a whole bunch, and I got rechargeable batteries for them. And I just stuck, they have, like, you could stick them with this thing that's on the back of them. Um, so these lights, and they've been here for since the summer. I turn them on every once in a while to display this. But here's another option. Get yourself, the, like, one of these kind of lights or strip lighting or whatever you want. And um, these things last a long time, and they can be recharged. And why is that good? Because you can put this and charge that through the battery system. 
Um, and again, maybe one day I'll do that. Right now I don't have the need for it, but that's another a backup plan. So like if you have those lights and you have some of these batteries um, rechargeable during a um, power outage and you get some lights like I have or your own, you can use that for lighting and save your machine for a fan or uh, maybe even a hot plate or recharging your phone or you know any of the other things that you might need it for and you can use those pop-up lights and those pop-up lights you can place anywhere like I stuck them up to display you could have them anywhere and let me tell you it shines I used them uh, during the outage it shines up onto your ceiling and gives you a ton of light so you don't have to waste waste um, regular lighting in one of your machines all right so that's just a little tip that you could use and that way you use this thing for more important things like your cell phone and um, if you have a machine that has to run your air or whatever that's called when you need to sleep at night um, and if it's hot you can you run a fan or a humidifier um, and in the summertime you know the opposite kind of things all right so that's it looks like a pretty dang good machine um, I was hoping that my grow lights would run for like five hours but obviously they're the one rack system here's what it looks like so you know I was hoping I could like if I was ever a powder hours and I needed to, because they light up my whole kitchen. You know, I could run like two hours here, switch it two hours on my other system, two hours on my other system, and keep the plants healthy. But you know what? It, plants are awesome, and they don't really need that. But it was just a show. All right, and real briefly here, as you can see, it's shut off, but it's not off. So you just go like that real quick, and it goes back on. And um, here, I'll do it right now since it's at 90%. All right, so let's see if I can get it without. Okay, so now you're seeing it charge, and you can see the input 342 watts and and counting are coming into the machine because it's plugged into my wall, so it's recharging, and it's saying that it will take 15 minutes to charge that 10%. I don't know why, but there must be some kind of slowing down of the machines. Every company seems to... Um, uh, when it tops off around 80-90%, then it slows down the charging to get to 100%, probably for the battery's protection or something. But so you're seeing it at 89%, now at 90, 15 minutes, 345 watts are going into it to charge this from my wall. It says from 0 to 100 would take 60 minutes. In the car, it would take 3 hours, and with, with solar panels, 3 to 6 hours, depending on how much sun. So that's pretty darn quick. And again, if you were in a bind and you, you were using this, and I got this for $210 on sale. So, I mean, you could buy two of these and use one specifically for, say, one device that you might need that's a fan or medical and the rest for your phones or whatever. It's totally worth it. Or you can just get a bigger, powerful machine, um, whatever you want. So, uh, like I said, it's totally worth it because if it's winter time and there's no sun, you throw it in your car for an hour to three hours idling and you charge it right back up. All right. That's it. So I just wanted to show you that. So now it's down to 14 minutes, 92, 92%. All right. So hopefully this is informative and can make you help make you uh, some decisions on base what you need. Go to EcoFlow and check out all their different machines. Um, just make sure you look at the, the warranty of five years and the battery cycle of 3,000 cycles because they do have older machines they were only running 800 cycles compared to 3,000 and the warranty was only two years they were older battery chemistry and these are newer so keep that in mind if you see a lower price you'll know it right away by the, the cycles of the battery and the warranty if it's two years and 800 cycles it's an older machine if it's five years and five-year uh, five warranty and 3,000 cycles, then it's a newer machine. Um, and these also charge way faster. All right, so keep that in mind. Hope that helps you. Ask any questions or advice you have for me, let me know. All right, lots of love to you. Uh, guys back home, um, my family and everything, my mom and dad, you might want to buy one of these. It's inexpensive. If you have a power outage, you got this to um, do the little things that you need. Uh, you can always get a bigger one and, um, you know, uh, a 500 watt, a 600 watt, a 1000 watt one and you you might be in the without the solar panels you might be in the range of 500 to 600 dollars for that and then you probably add about another 250 to 300 if you want the solar panels 
but at that wattage, then, you know, if you needed to um, run a hot plate or a higher blanket or a little, like, heater, like a 600-watt um, heater or something, you could do that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. It might be a good thing for Amy and Chelsea and everybody back home if they want something. All right? Lots of love to you. Bye-bye.